Hey guys, happy Saturday and happy weekend. Welcome back to another vlog. So I have been doing weekend vlogs for a few weekends now and I've been sharing my life of me being an American, living in London and what I get up to in London every weekend. Um, if you guys haven't already come across my channel or you're new to my vlogs, please do check out my previous vlogs. You know what's going on. I'll make sure to link them down in the description below. But welcome to another weekend. I actually started my Saturday with a workshop Workout. And if you guys haven't been following me for the month of October, you might not know this, but I am actually doing a workout every single day in October, which means that every day that I wake up, I've been trying to work out. And the main reason I've been trying to work out is time change is coming up. It's coming up at the end of this month for the UK. And I wanted to make sure that when the time changes and we have shorter, colder, darker days that I am still motivated to get up and work out. And also, I'm not going to the gym, I'm only working out from home. Um, I have a pretty good gym home workout set station set up, which I do have a video on that, and if you wanna see my whole home gym layout, I'll link it up in the cards for you right now. And I also have a spin bike that I spin at at home. So basically, I'm able to get an amazing workout at home, and that's what I did this morning. And I am on day 17. I cannot believe it. I have done 17 straight days of workouts so far, and I'm so proud of myself. Honestly, it's made a massive difference to my mood, and even though it's cold and dark outside, I feel so great for having my workout. Anyways, that was a long intro to what I did this morning. Aside from that, I have been studying for um, a test, which I mentioned in my last vlog as well, and I have been studying for my life in the UK test, which is a part of your citizenship and a part of being able to get your indefinite leave to remain in the UK. And that is what I've spent all morning doing, is just sitting in front of my computer and studying and remembering dates of monarchs and British history and pop culture and so many different things. And I am not going to go into it too much today, but I cannot believe how much history this country has. Honestly, like the UK has been around for ages. Monarchs have been around for ages. It's the longest standing monarch ever. And it's just like crazy how much information you have to retain for this test. And I have the test in like 10 days. So I've been really cracking down and studying because I really need to pass it in order to get my visa, which is what I've been doing all morning. Anyways, I probably will do a different video on how to take your life in the UK test and just some tips and tricks on how to pass it. Hopefully I pass it and I'll definitely share that with you guys if you want a video about that, about how an American can pass the life in the UK test and my whole experience of that. Please give this video a thumbs up so I know to create content like that for you. But anyways, I have a weekend full of more food for you guys. I am going to be going and trying out um, two restaurants. They're not new to me. They're actually restaurants that I have been to, and I will share them with you guys when I go to them. Today I'm going to Murger Han, which is a noodle place, or let's say it's an Asian uh, restaurant, and they're located all over London, but they are particularly famous for their very, very long handmade noodles. Like they're super, super long and I'll show you later that as well. And I'm going to brunch tomorrow at Pie Pizza, which is a great pizza place located in Battersea, which I've been to before for their pizza, but I'm going for brunch tomorrow. Anyways, a long weekend of that ahead. Um, the lockdown rules are changing in London as of today, which is kind of unfortunate. We are going into tier two lockdown because of the global pandemic, which means that um, you're only allowed to go out to these restaurants and socialize indoors with people of your own household or people of your support bubble, which is what I'm doing. And I'm still going to restaurants this weekend because they are still open and I want to continue to support um, restaurants and the, and the British and English economy because I want to make sure that, you know, I'm still able to get out because during the week I'm just sat at my desk working. So I'm going to get out and do that, but I'm following government guidelines. It's changing all the time. And I know that could be so hard and it isn't easy. And I'm hoping that, you know, we don't have to go into tier three. And then if it is tier three, then the restaurants close. But anyways, I'm going on and on and I'm just I'm really excited to go out and eat. So I will take you guys along with me, as of course. I'll show you guys what I get up to this weekend and let's go have some lunch at Murder Hunt. Catch you there. So guys, just made it to Piccadilly Circus. I'm walking to the restaurant right now. I can't believe 
how empty it is, honestly. I just took some pictures in Piccadilly Circus and it's amazing how empty it is. Like as a Londoner, that never happens. So positives again of the lockdown is that London is so empty. But I'm just trying to navigate my way down the streets. Actually, I'm on, I think, Piccadilly Circus Street right now and I'm just trying to go to Margaret Hahn right now to grab some lunch. And it's so nice that it is kind of empty because you get to appreciate London in a new way. But yeah, let's go grab some lunch. So, just made it to the Margaret Hahn restaurant in Mayfair. So this is just outside of Piccadilly Circus and this is right outside. As you can see, it's pretty empty. Um, I'll show you inside as well and I'm really excited to eat some noodles and show you guys what I eat for lunch. So guys, I have just sat down at Murder Han and I am going to be ordering their very famous handmade noodles. Um, I ordered the spinach handmade noodles as well as the Beyond Beyond noodles, which again, they're handmade here in store or in the restaurant and they are super long. I've had them before, so I'm excited to show you guys what they are. I also ordered um, a murger, which is like kind of like a bun and it has beef in it. And what else did I get? I got tofu skewers as well. Um, I think that's it, but I'll show you what I got when the food arrives. Um, it's a pretty famous noodle place here in London, so, um, and they have really cute decor around the restaurant as well, which I'll show you in a minute. But yeah, I am excited to eat. I am so hungry. But yeah, let's wait for the food to arrive, and then I'll show you what I ended up ordering. So, as I'm waiting for my food, I decided to order a specialty drink that you would only find in other Shein restaurants, and it is this Ice Peak soda, which is just here. I think it looks like orange soda, so let me just give it a try and I'll tell you guys what I think of it. Yeah, it's orange soda. <laughs> it's super bubbly actually, I think it's like super fizzy, but um, yeah, I got orange soda. Um, I also got a green tea just because it's cold outside and I want to have something warm. Um, some of the appetizers have just arrived, but I'm gonna wait for all the food to arrive and then I'll show you what I got. So guys, all our food has arrived. I got the burgers, which I mentioned earlier, and these are beef and cumin stuff, and it's just between a um, bun, really. And then just over here are the tofu skewers, and I think it looks like it has some sort of sauce on it. I'm not too sure what the sauce is. And then these two big bowls right here, this is what Murder Han is kind of famous for, is their handmade noodles. Like I said, I got the Bing Yang noodles here, and as you can see, they have massive, long, handmade noodles that just go on for ages, and that's handmade here in the restaurant, and then this is also a beef one, and then I got a vegetarian one, which is um, spinach noodles, and then this has eggs and tomato in it, but everything smells so good. I'm so excited to eat it all up and I will tell you how and what I think of everything and which one's my favorite once I eat. So guys, I just finished my lunch at Murger Han, which is right behind me. And as you saw, I had such a spread of different noodles. The spinach noodles were all right, but my favorite ones were the Biang Biang noodles. And they're handmade in their restaurant, so they're made fresh that day usually. They're so long, which I did show you how much of a noodle pull I got. And honestly, that sp I got extra spicy, which was so delicious. Um, I also got to try out their burgers, which is what I showed um, earlier, which is like kind of like a bun, but it had uh, beef in it. That was really good too, as well. So if you are gonna come and check out Murger Han, which this one's in Mayfair, they have a few other locations in London and I'll link all their information down below, but I'd have to say their noodles and their burgers, which is those little buns, were the best choice and I totally loved my lunch. Anyways, I think I'm gonna actually go and explore um, Chinatown. Actually, I really, really want a bubble tea, so I'm probably gonna go do that and I'll take you guys along and show you a little bit else around central London, around Chinatown, around Piccadilly Circus. But yeah, overall, really good noodles at Murger Han, so check them out. So guys, I just made it into Chinatown and uh, it is so different from the Chinatown that I saw before lockdown. It's so interesting to see that there are so many tables outside. So all the restaurants that are in Chinatown, in order to follow all the guidelines, they are now putting all the tables and chairs outside so you can sit outdoors and still be socially distant. But yeah, Chinatown looks so different and the lanterns have changed as well. They've uh, changed them to like colorful ones rather than the classic red ones. 
but I'm actually just about to go get some bubble tea and enjoy some bubble tea in Chinatown. So I just got bubble tea from Cha Time, which is one of my probably go-to bubble tea places in Chinatown. It's pretty like stock standard bubble tea, it's not like anything special, but I do love their teas. And I got the lychee black tea with lychee popping pearls in it, so I'm just going to try it out and tell you guys what I think. I've never tried this one before, so I'm excited to try it. Oh, it's nice. Yeah, it's quite nice. I got normal sugar because I think sometimes these get too sweet, but really nice. It's a black tea with obviously lychee flavors and then lychee popping bubbles and I'm going to enjoy this and probably just chill around Chinatown before I head home. back to Piccadilly Circus to head home. I'm actually so surprised there are so many more people on the streets or like walking around compared to when I first came out to lunch. It's a few hours later so it's a lot busier. It actually looks like there's more tourists and there's more people in London now which is crazy like we've just hit tier two lockdown and it just there's more people out but uh, yeah I'm just gonna get on the underground here shortly and then I'm going to head home but I'll show you what Piccadilly Circus looks like right now which again I'm so surprised there's so many people out right now it's crazy I just made it back home from Piccadilly Circus, but as you can see, I'm still outside because I've decided to take ZZ for a walk, but it feels like it's so dark outside just because it's so gray today. And I think time change is coming up in a few weeks because of that, like it feels like the sun is setting even though there's no sun out right now. But yeah, just going to my local park with ZZ. gosh look at that tree look at all the colors I love that the leaves change colors here good morning guys happy Sunday I am a sweaty mess because I have now reached day 18 of 31 for my October fitness challenge whoop, 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 whoop. honestly give me a thumbs up guys because I cannot believe I've made it 18 days every single day working out I've mostly been doing spin classes on my spin bike, my Echelon EX3, which if you guys haven't already seen, I have done a number of videos on how much this bike means to me and how much I've enjoyed it so far and I've had it for about two months now. And I just, I can't believe that I have now done 18 days back-to-back -back workouts. Like when I first set out for this entire challenge, I was really like, yeah, okay, like let's give it a go. I wanna make sure I'm trying to stay fit, especially when the days are getting darker and winter is coming. But I am 18 days in, I am more than halfway. I cannot believe it, honestly. I don't know if I'm actually seeing a physical change to be completely honest, but my mental change is amazing. Like I just, I cannot believe that I am doing the damn thing. Like honestly, I just, I'm really so impressed that I have done 18 days and I feel amazing. The endorphins are crazy. Anyways, it's Sunday. I need to shower because I have brunch plans and I'm going to be going down to Battersea to go check out Pie Pizza's brunch. So I have been to Pie Pizza before. Um, and I absolutely love their pizzas, they're delicious, but they have launched a new brunch menu um, since the end of September, and I said I'd go down there and visit and obviously check out their brunch, and I'm really excited. Obviously, I've just worked out, I'm super hungry, I'm ready to eat. I'm gonna shower and get ready, and yeah, just get started with my Sunday, because it's an amazing day, because I worked out. Anyways, I'll catch you guys at brunch. So 
guys, just made it to Clapham Junction Station. I'm just walking to Battersea from here. Um, I am so hungry. I'm actually borderline hangry, to be honest. Um, and on the entire t like tube and train journey here, I looked up the uh, menu for brunch and I was like deciding what I wanted for brunch really. And I don't know about you guys, but I totally do that. Whenever I'm hungry and I'm trying out a new restaurant or I'm going to a restaurant, I end up looking up um, the menu beforehand so that when I get to the restaurant, I know exactly what I want and I sit down and I order and then I just know and then yeah, I get my food faster that way. I don't know if anyone else does that, but I totally do. Um, but besides I'm being a little bit hangry, I'm also back in kind of the neighborhood that I used to live in. Um, I used to live in southwest London in the Fulham area and I just took the overground train from from like that area into Clapham and it's just so weird it's like it feels like a lifetime ago that I lived there and it's just it's so strange to be on the route that I used to commute with every day. Um, I really do miss it. I do miss that old building that I used to live in and I saw it and I was like Wow, that seems like a lifetime ago. But anyways, oh, I'm just going into a tunnel. It's getting so dark. So yeah, I used to live in Southwest London in the Fulham area. And I just took the overground, which is such a weird like feeling because it feels like a lifetime ago. It was only three years ago that I lived there. But yeah, I just miss that apartment complex. It made me really realize like that's when I used to first live and move into London. And it's such a different life that I lead now. But uh, anyways, I am trying not to get run over by a car and I'm gonna try to head over to brunch and I'll show you guys what I end up ordering because I actually already know what I'm gonna order because I've looked at the menu the entire train journey here. just sat down at brunch at Pie Pizza and of course being Sunday brunch I decided to get the mimosa. Look how pretty it is. So well decorated. And I also got a coffee just because I haven't had a coffee yet today. But I have to say everything seems very nice because they all have menus also on um, QR codes. So I scan this on my phone and then I have the menu on my phone rather than getting a paper menu which is really nice and a little bit safer and cleaner during these times. But I am so hungry. I'm about to order the whole menu. Honestly, I think I'm going to pizza and brunch and sides because I just worked out and I'm starving and yeah so let me order my food and I'll show you guys what I end up getting once it arrives. So guys, all my food has arrived. I'm so hungry, so I'm gonna explain this really quickly so I can eat. But I got their pizza, which they are very well known for. I've totally been here for pizza before, but I got the smaller version because obviously there's a lot of the food on the table. I got half of the uh, pear gorgonzola and then half of the spicy lamb, so you can totally do half half of the pizzas here. Also, the two new things that they have on the menu are brunch menu, and the two things I got is the burrata on toast, and this has tomatoes as well, and then. And also, I got a smoked salmon dish that is like just avocado toast with smoked salmon and eggs, and then a side of breadsticks as well, and of course, have a mimosa, and I am so hungry and ready to eat, and I will tell you guys all about it once I'm done and which one was my favorite dish. So, I just had brunch. I ate that food. It was so good. I have to say that the burrata with the tomatoes was my absolute favorite. And even though I'm so full and I've eaten so much food, I had to get dessert. Like, I just cannot not have dessert. And I got the, um, I think it's banoffee with caramelized bananas on top. I'm really excited to try it. <laughs> but yeah, I have to say the food here is amazing. Every single time I come, I'm always blown away by the quality and also like just how how good and authentic it tastes. I think they, they really do like shine through when it comes to the original Italian flavors and their pizza is honestly so good. I had some pizza on the side, but their new brunch menu is so good and I'm gonna just have this dessert and probably head home, but overall just highly recommend this place. They're in Battersea. They're just about a less than 10 minute walk from Clapham Junction Station and all their food is so, so good.
So guys, I just finished brunch at Pie Pizza in Battersea. Honestly, such an amazing brunch. I honestly was just so blown away. I've had such a filling brunch and a little bit of a boozy one, to be honest. I had a few mimosas, which were delicious, but I have had such a good brunch and I was a little bit hangry before all of this, but now I'm so full and I'm ready to get back home and chill out on this pretty great but still amazing Sunday and if you guys haven't already um, checked this place out or you want to check it out I'll be sure to just link everything down in the description so you guys can see exactly where I had my Sunday brunch at right guys I just got home from brunch and I picked up all of these boxes from my downstairs like mail room concierge where the front of my apartment building is and I wanted to share with you guys some of my purchases. So Prime Day was about like two or three days ago. It was like October 13, 14, something like that. So as you can see here, I have tons of Amazon boxes because I did make some purchases. I'm still waiting for a few more, but I thought I'd show you guys some of the things that I purchased on Amazon Prime Day. And also I have this massive box that you guys can't totally see in the video, but this is from Teal Luxury um, Bedding, and they have kindly gifted me some really lovely bed sheets to sh showcase on my Instagram. So I'm starting to work with them in a collaboration post and a sponsored post on my Instagram. So if you aren't already following me on Instagram, um, I'll make sure to link it down below to check all that out. But I have quite a few brands that I work with on there, and they were kind enough to send me some sheets for me to try out, and I'll probably like do a post and stuff on, on Instagram, but check me out there. But what I wanted to come on here is open up everything and share it with you guys. But before actually going into that, I wanted to share something. I am left-handed and growing up being left-handed, you are definitely the minority. I still feel like the minority amongst my family and friends. But the one thing that I purchased that made a massive difference is left-handed scissors. And it just, it's so much easier to cut with your left hand because everything, I swear, everything, like from notebooks to mice to everything that you use in life is made for a right-handed person. And I just love that there's now options for left things. So anyways, these scissors are a massive help to me. So if you are left-handed and you have either left-handed items or scissors or anything like that, or you just understand the struggle of being left-handed in a right-handed world, give this video a thumbs up because I always feel like the minority. But I'm going to open these boxes now and I look like I'm just hugging them. I'm so excited. Um, I'm gonna open these boxes and share with you guys what I purchased and what was sent to me. So. I got Real Technique makeup brushes. I already have tons of Real Technique makeup brushes actually, but since they were on sale on Prime Day, I decided to buy a few more. And this one is, I think it's like the face and eye combo. Yeah, face, eyes, and cheek, everyday essential makeup brushes. If you are interested in any of the products that I'm talking about today and anything I'm showing you, I'll make sure to list everything down below, but I love Real Technique makeup brushes. First of all, they're so affordable and, and, they are such good quality, like really. Like I've had probably my other ones, my real, other Real Technique makeup brushes for eight years now, and they're still going strong, but I just wanted newer ones because they were getting kind of dirty, to be honest. But yeah, got some brushes. No! <laughs> Oops. Right, the next thing that I got are This Works Deep Sleep Pillow Spray. I use this on my pillows every single night. I absolutely love this stuff. I highly rate it. You just put a few spritz of this all over your pillow or like your sheets or where you put your head down to sleep. And it's like lavender and a few other essential oils that are all mixed together. And it really helps to help you relax and get into a good night's sleep and helps you stay asleep throughout the whole night. I just love the scent of this. And then it just really puts me in a, in a really, really nice state. It says, yeah, super active lavender oil. We use only 100% natural fragrances and 100% pure essential oils. I highly recommend you guys check these out. I buy these two at a time whenever they're on sale. I think this was like on sale for like 25% off on Prime Day, but I love this spray. I have it like three more of these that I use all the time and I just stocked up on some more because they were on sale on Prime Day. Another essential in my makeup, everyday makeup kit, which is the Maybelline Instant anti-age eraser multi-use concealer. I use this under my eyes and I use the color O2 Nude. I have a spare already, a backup. I use this every single day. So since it was on sale on Prime Day, I decided to also get another one. So the next thing that I got are 
Starbucks Nespresso capsule. And these are the Blonde Roast. And I absolutely love these. I have a iced Nespresso coffee almost every single day. And I just pop one of these Nespresso capsules into my Nespresso machine. And it's like having a Starbucks coffee at home. And obviously now that I'm working from home and just home more often, I use these to make my daily coffee. And this was honestly another bargain buy. I think it's normally 26 pounds and I get 10 of these or something. No, eight of them, eight of these. Eight, and each one of these sleeves has 10 capsules. So you get 80 capsules in total. And I think it was again, 40% off during Prime. I'll make sure to list everything down below. I can't remember the prices off the top of my head, but when I did see it, I was like, wow, they're on sale. They're so cheap and they're normally never on sale. So I had to pick some of these up as a restock. Right. Now time to open my bedding. So I think what I ordered was some pillows and sheets, I think. So my complimentary samples, we're looking forward to hearing from you. As I said, this is all gifted to me to share on my Instagram, but I thought I'd obviously share it on here as well because I think this is like 100% down oh fuck pillows i'm so excited i've actually been <laughs> dying for new pillows but i got two pillows i actually think if i remember reading it correctly on their website these pillows are the ones that are used in soho house the hotel chain so i think they're pretty fancy again i'll link everything down below for you guys to check out if you're interested And then I got pillowcases. So these are all bordered, like they're white with a gray border on them. And this is, I think, either, yeah, either this is a duvet cover. Yeah, this is the duvet cover. And then this is a flat sheet. So this is everything that I ordered. And these are 400 thread count, king size, 100% cotton. And this is the same, I believe. I think they're Egyptian cotton, but I'm not sure. But I know that they are a luxury cotton as well. But yeah, I'm excited to put them on my bed. I'll probably change my sheets next weekend because I actually just changed them this weekend. So I'll show you guys all of this in next weekend's vlog and you guys can see it all on my bed next weekend. So make sure you subscribe and stay tuned to next weekend's vlog to see exactly how all this bedding looks on my bed. I'm not gonna lie guys. I've never been so excited to put bedding on my bed. Like, let's be real, okay? Let me talk to all the short people out there. When you have a king or full or any size bed that's bigger than a single bed, and you're a short person like me, which I'm 5'1", okay? Changing your sheets is a full workout, okay? Like lifting the mattress, the sheets, the covers, everything, honestly, I'm always exhausted, but, for the first time, I'm really excited to put all of this on my bed and actually put the sheets down and everything and then have a nap. <gasps> It'll be so nice. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed the little mini haul that I just shared with you guys. I think I'm gonna end the vlog here today. It's already Sunday evening and I'm ready to just cook some dinner and chill out. And if you have made it to this point of the video and you are enjoying my content so far and you're not already subscribed, please do smash that subscribe button and be a part of my YouTube family because I upload two times a week on Sundays and Wednesdays and make sure you turn on my bell notification so you know exactly when my next video is going live. Anyways, I hope you guys are having an amazing day wherever you are in the world and I hope to catch you in my next video. Bye.